Hey guys, Salem here and welcome to this video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this awesome cinematic title animation in Adobe Premiere Pro and it's super easy. So without wasting any much of our time, let's get right into it. Alright, so let's start by creating a sequence. To do this, go to the new item button in the program window and click sequence and choose the preset of your choice. So the first thing we need to do is to create a text, obviously. So select the type tool or just hit T on your keyboard and go ahead and type your text. This creates a graphics layer in the timeline. So I'm going to extend it to about 10 seconds. Now we need to stylize our text. Go to the effect controls window and click this arrow. And now you can change the font, size, tracking, alignment, fill, stroke, and all that stuff. So first, let's change the font. If you want some cinematic fonts, you can check out some of the fonts here. So I'm going to use this font, Montserrat. And I'm going to keep the size around 60 to 70 because it shouldn't be too big or too small. Then I'm going to increase the tracking, which is the space in between the letters. And I'm going to align it to the center. So now I've created our main cinematic text. Now I'm going to add a subtitle. So select the title again and type what you want as a subtitle. I'm going to change the font to this. And lastly, position it under the main text and align it vertically. So now that we're done with the text and styling the text, let's go into animation. Select the main text and go to the motion properties in the first control. I go to the beginning of the sequence, I'll create a keyframe for the skill. Then go to the end and increase the skill by 10. And also do this to the subtitle. You can easily copy and paste the keyframes. So now I have this cool animation, but we're not done yet. We have to make the text review. Now there are many ways of doing this, but I'm only going to show you two ways. Starting with the first one. Go to the effects controls and select the opacity property. Then go to the beginning and create a keyframe for the opacity, which should be as 100. I move the keyframe about 1 or 2 second forward from the beginning then at the beginning of the text change the opacity to zero this makes the text slowly fade in then copy the second keyframe to one or two seconds towards the end and go to the end and copy and paste the first keyframe so we have this fade in and fade out animation of the text after that go to the effects window and search for gaussian blow and drag it to the text now go to the effects controls and move to the beginning of the text and create a keyframe and move it to the same point where the opacity keyframe is that's one or two seconds after the first keyframe then at the beginning increase the blow now do the same thing for the end just like you did for the opacity now when you've done this you notice that it affects both the main title and the subtitle to fix this go to the essential graphics and move the gaussian blur effect to the top of the main text then select the effect and the text and click on this icon which puts them into a group now for the subtitle do the same animation we just did but make sure that the animation starts after the main text fade in and it ends before the main text fades out so all you need to do now is to put in a cinematic shot under the text layer and you're done For the second review, we are going to do this using the crop effect. So go to the effects window and search for the crop effect and add it in the text layer. Then go to the effects controls and select the crop effect and adjust it to be under the text. Now again group the text and the effect. Now select the main text and go to the effects control. Then move one second forward from the beginning and create a keyframe for the position. And move to the beginning and move it down until it doesn't show anymore. For the subtitle, add the crop effect again and position it under the text and group the text and the effect. Go to the effect controls again and move to where the main text come in the frame and create a keyframe. Then move the keyframe one second and go back to the beginning and move the text down until it doesn't show anymore. Now when you are doing this animation, make sure to ease in and ease out the keyframes to make the animation more smooth. You can also decide to make that same crop animation towards the end. Then move the text layer to the next video track and also add the cinematic shot under the text layer and that's it. We have this very cool easy cinematic text animation. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you gained something and you learned something new. And this kind of title animation can be added to your projects like short films or travel videos or even vlogs. So that's it for today's video. Please consider leaving a like and subscribing below. So for those of you that are still watching this video, I've left a link in the description below where you can download this project for free 
and use it in your videos so if you don't want to go through the stress of making this continuously you can easily use that project and make your own title and measures that you can add in your films or your vlogs or your travel videos or your youtube videos or any video at all so thank you again for watching this video and make sure to subscribe below now if you want to learn how to use premiere pro i have a video right here that will teach you everything you need to know about premiere pro so thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video